Hi, hello everyone. Sarah here from Sarah McCauley Studio. How are you today? I'm live on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page. I'm really excited about what I need to show you this evening. So when you jump on, say hello, let me know where you're coming from, drop me an emoji, um, and um, I'm really excited about showing you this, so I hope you have an enjoyable time with me um, while we watch. So um, I'm gonna show you the um, Cherry Blossom Luxe Decoupage Paper. Hi Mia, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you for joining me tonight. So um, some of you may have already seen our Lux decoupage papers. Um, they're like a beautiful, um, I'll show it over this side so you can see it better. They're like a tissue paper, but they are very strong. I'm good Mia, thanks, how are you today? Um, and they have a really lustrous feel. They have little um, threads running through them of silk, which makes them super strong. And they've got a really nice sheen to them. So I was really impressed when I first um, got my parcel of these delivered. Hello, Jessie, how are you? Um, I was really impressed when I got these because um, they, having used other decoupage papers before, they're generally quite um, matte and not, they don't have kind of this um, lovely luxury feel to them. So I'm pretty impressed with these. You uh, Mia says she loves decoupage. Me too. I can't wait to show you this. So the cherry blossom paper, the size of it, it um, this is a large size. I've actually cut it in half. So when you receive it, it's square. It's 57 centimeters squares, um, or if you're in inches, 22.44 inches square. So it's twice the width of this. I have cut it in half for my project. Hi, Leanne, how are you? Thanks for joining me. Um, so here we go. So I'm gonna show you this little vintage cabinet, which I picked up uh, recently and thought it would be a really good project to show you. For those of you who've just jumped on, um, I'm Sarah, I'm from Sarah McCauley Studio. I'm live with Aussie Decoupage, um, Aussie Decor Transfers, doing decoupage. And um, all of the details um, are above the video, so you can see um, the link to Aussie Decor Transfers if you want to purchase anything. You can see a link to my Facebook page. I would absolutely love it if you follow me. And the link also for the Aussie Decor page, if you're not already following, um, give them a follow because there's somebody live every day showing you something cool. Hello Rani, how are you? Thank you for joining me, it's so nice to see your name pop up. Hi Val, how are you? So this is my little vintage cabinet. This was um, quite battered. It actually had a really nice door to it which had um, wire mesh, um, but it was really damaged. The hinges were all um, splintered, so I took it off. Shame I couldn't, shame I couldn't. I'm an Aussie, I should try these papers. Me, you totally should try them. Um, and you know what, they come in different sizes. So um, they kind of suit all budgets because if you just buy a smallish one, they're really quite inexpensive. And if you go, go nuts and buy a big one, um, it will last you for several projects. So my little shelves I've taken out. Now I have, um, what I, the reason I've painted it this kind of pale color inside is that with these decoupage papers, they actually um, really pop if you put them on um, a pale background. Um, you can use them on any color background you want, but if it's a dark background, um, they just won't look so vibrant. They will just have a more muted effect. And I have sealed this as well. This is sealed chalk paint um, because I just want a nice, finish, no dust, no particles that are gonna ruin my project for me. Hi Debbie, how are you? Um, how's everyone's Monday been so far? Like Mondays are generally not so fun, are they? So it's fun for me to do this tonight. I'm just going to tilt my camera so you can actually see. I'm going to be applying the tissue to the inside back 
of my little cupboard. Can you see that? So I've cut it to size and I'm going to try and show you as clearly as possible the method for applying these papers. Um, it is not at all difficult and um, it's a pretty quick process as well. How's your day been Debbie? Thank you for watching me. I'm Sarah from Sarah McCauley Studio and um, I'm one of the brand ambassadors from Aussie Decor Transfers and we've got this brilliant range of a new product which is a luxe decoupage paper and um, so you might see on this page a number of brand ambassadors and content creators using different um, prints from this product. So I am using um, a clear sealant varnish to stick on my tissue. You can use Mod Podge, you can use PVA glue, um, depending on what range you prefer. Some of you I know are already into painting, chalk painting and so on. Um, and there's honestly such a variety of decoupage glues you can get. You can use your kids craft glue. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter too much for this sort of project. Um, I have got a damp chucks handy because I've already done a blob and I'm, I'm not fond of blobs. So I'm going to start here and I'm just going to do, I'm not going to put this sealer all over my project immediately. I'm actually going to start small and slowly and put my paper because I don't want to get myself in a big old sticky mess. I'm going to put my paper in. I'm going to move it to where I want it. I'm just going to position it right in that corner. Okay, now it's going in. Great. Okay. So I've stuck it into this back corner and I'm going to use my blue tool. Now this blue tool, those of you familiar to the page will know this tool. We're always raving about it. It doesn't come with the tissue paper, but it's a few dollars on the Aussie um, Decor Transfers page. Hi Evelyn, how are you? Thanks for joining. So the process of this is pretty straightforward. I'm smoothing on my decoupage paper just slowly and gently with my blue tool. And this is just to make sure I don't have air bubbles and that uh, it adheres all over without me missing any parts. That's going on really nicely. So the next bit is to just keep applying your sealant, Mod Podge, decoupage paste, glue, whatever you're using, just in sections. I'm just literally going to do it maybe a few centimetres at a time. Have any of you used any of these papers yet? Have you guys tried them? Jesse, I think you were keen. And I'm hoping that you might be able to get your hands on some because I know you'll do a beautiful job with them too. Okay, so the nice thing about these papers as well is that they're pretty, they're pretty foolproof, to be honest. They're not, they don't tear. And even though I'm applying pressure with this tool, I know they're not, I know it's not gonna rip because I tried one out on the weekend and I gave it a real heavy duty pounding. Um, and I've, um, I am not, I'm not the neatest decoupager. I have tried for years with paper napkins and um, with mixed results. I find they can be messy, they tear, they can get a bit gluey and, and gunky. So I'm pretty happy with the way this is going on. So I'm just doing my next bit of gluing here and um, I, some of you I know are already members of 
the Creative Club, which is the Aussie decor group for um, anyone can join. It's a Facebook group for people who want to try out the products and post pictures of them in, in the group. Um, and it's a very supportive group, all nice people, and we all just really enjoy the process and enjoy seeing each other's creations. Um, and if you are, if you do join that group, you'll see that there's a challenge at the moment, a creative challenge where um, you have the chance to win a prize. The prize is $120 worth of um, Aussie products, Aussie Decal product, $120 Aussie dollars worth. And also, you get if you win, you get your um, your creation is featured as like the hero shot of the month on the group. Hi Amber, how are you? Thanks for joining. So Jesse, um, your papers are on the way. That is awesome. Rani, how are you today? How was work? I'm really happy that you jumped on. I miss you. So you can see how quick that was. That has literally slurped itself onto the surface, but it's not it's not gunky. There's no product coming through. I'll show you up close. Um, and this tool is just fabulous for smoothing it out. I don't have any air bubbles. I have a few tiny wrinkles and I'm not worried about those because they don't, they're not presenting any problems. They will settle as my piece dries. And um, it has a bit of a texture to it because of these little sort of silk threads. And I think that just contributes to the look so I'm pretty I'm actually pretty happy with that I'm going to turn it upright let me move you a little bit Rani make it look easy do you know what um, these products are pretty easy to work with I have to say there so that's kind of cute isn't it that is kind of cute now I've stood it up I can see that I just need to work a little bit on this section just want to make sure I've moved out any little wrinkles I can. I hope that noise isn't too annoying. I thought this would be so cute in, um, you know, like a bedroom, maybe a little girl's bedroom. Once I put the shelves in, you'll see you can put little trinkets on it. You put your little... Um, I don't know what a little girl's into at the moment. Rani, what's um, what's Lucy into that she would put on shelves? Anyone got a little daughter or grandchild? I only have a boy, so he is not going to want this in his bedroom, I don't think. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It's beautiful. Thank you, Jessie. It's, it's sweet, isn't it? I'm so happy I got this cherry blossom print. I've even, um, I even dressed up specially. Look, I've got me, um, <laughs> got my pink earrings. I've got my, my blossom. Um, so I've got quite, I got quite excited about this. So I'm going to move this backwards so you can get like a view of that. I'm going to pop the shelves in. Is that the right way around? I think it's that way around. Um, it's sweet, isn't it? And you can see how quick and easy that was to do. Um, I'm going to let that dry. Once the um, decoupage paper is fully dry, I will apply the sealer that I've been using over the top of it too, so that it's protected um, and that will just give it a clear coat um, and seal it all up and then um, take some pictures, take some pictures for you. Um, 
so that was pretty that was pretty easy as you can see you need your, your mod podge or your glue you need your blue tool um, perhaps a cloth to wipe up drips um, my granddaughter would use it for her toys and her barb oh barbie furniture a great idea amber i love that yeah it's a bit barbie isn't it <laughs> it's a bit barbie um okay so i do have something else i want to show you using the same paper because um as i said you can get quite a lot of projects out of the one pack hey caroline how are you must be early morning for you monday morning thanks for joining me all the way from cambridgeshire so i picked up this heart at um, a junk place i think it was a market stall actually and it was bright red and it was um it was a bit it was a, not very nice anyway so i've i wanted to try using the decoupage paper on a curved surface to see how well it stuck and if i got wrinkles and stuff and it again it was it was pretty easy to put on another quick job but what i failed at was when i put it on i didn't check my surface very well as I was applying the paper and there was a big lump underneath once I'd done it. Thanks Amber. 4 a.m. are you kidding? Where are you coming from? I can't believe you're watching at 4 a.m. So this was my boo -boo. I don't know if you can see that there was a big lump under my tissue. I poked at it with my craft knife and I realized it was actually a piece of pencil lead that had got under there. So it's made a nasty splodge. So I think I thought this would be a good um, demo piece to fix up a little bit. Oh, it's not too early for you, Caroline. That's good. You had your had your coffee. Um, so let me just tilt my camera down again a little bit. Um, so I've cut off another little teeny bit, which I'm just going to stick over my boo boo, my little mistake. Um, because I think, I th actually think if you do make any mistakes with these tissue papers, um, you can just put another bit over the top. You can layer them. So I've done my um, heart. I've made this little organic shape and I'm just going to stick that on. Um, can you see that? I don't know if I've positioned that very well. Same, same stuff. My glue, Mod Podge. I'm just going to layer that little piece on the edge there so that nobody sees the pencil mark underneath. Um, and if you get blobs of your Mod Podge that come out from under your piece, don't worry because if you use the same sealer to seal over the top, there's not going to be any gluey marks. So that's quite sweet, isn't it? Um, and how I did it, I'll show you the other, I'll show you how I do the other side because um, again that was really quick. So I'm going to lie it down. This is the last piece of my tissue because I've been, been using it a lot. Can't find my pencil, I'm just going to use my pen for this. And I'm going to draw around it. Just like that. Good morning from NJ. Whoa, where's that? New Jersey? Is it morning? Or have I got the wrong place? It's kind of mind boggling all these time zones, isn't it? So I've done my not very good heart. And, but yeah, I think it'll be pretty too. Just one of those um, sort of cheap, cheap little craft things. So I'm just going to cut around this. Again, I'm not too worried if it's not perfect. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, 5am Elizabeth. 
golly, there's some real early birds on this chair. For those of you who don't know me, I run a little studio in Sydney, Australia, and um, I teach people how to paint furniture and do all sorts of crafts. Um, and I sometimes teach at the local community college as well. And um, I get a lot of pleasure of in sharing sharing stuff. So this, um, you know, being part of Aussie Decor Transfers is so much fun for me because I just get to, you know, get to see all their beautiful products and show them off. Okay, so here, heart, paper, same principle as before, just a little bit of the product at a time, just a thin layer. and smooth on with my transfer tool. Some of you have probably got one of these already. Um, Caroline, you've probably got lots. Um, so Caroline, who is watching, is um, one of our content creators from England. So she has her own live slot. Caroline, I think you're on tomorrow, aren't you? You're on Tuesday, UK time. Um, so it's very inspiring if you do follow this page you'll get to see someone in a different time zone every day diff demonstrating a different product and some of the Americans are so much fun too they make me laugh so here we go I've been a bit liberal with my glue I'm squishing on my decoupage paper I'm not too worried about getting it absolutely 100% perfect because I'm going to do a little bit of layering around the sides because I don't want this gap in the sides of my project. So I'm going to use my little leftover pieces. I'm going to cut out little shapes and put it around the side. So this is, it's not going to look, have that gap at the end um, once I have finished. Yep. Um, if you if you know anyone who think you who loves decoupage or any of your friends who you think might be interested, feel free to um, share this page around, share the live because it's quite fun to get your friends involved and family if they're awake. Mine are not available this morning, but never mind. because they're all in the UK. Okay. So it goes on pretty nicely on a curved surface as well. I, I'm quite pleased with that. Looks quite good. And um, I'm going to go back in with my little pieces here. Um, and I'm just going to cut out some of the remaining flowers, put them around the edge so that I don't have that gap and then I think that will that will be quite sweet um, and if you do have um, a problem just you you know you just put a little bit over it with something like flowers you can I mean with some of the designs um, it's not quite so easy but with this one it's very forgiving so there we go again I'm gonna I will work on that a little bit more um, but I did have something else I wanted to show you as well because um, I did a bit of experimenting over the weekend with this print. Look at that. Um, so that was a that is a medium size one, 40 centimeters by 58. So not quite as big as the tissue, but a decent size. And um, when my son saw that, he was very, very excited. You could blend with paint. Yeah, actually, Amber, that's, um, that's a really good idea. I might do that. Because I could use the pink that I've used on my cabinet. I might do that. Good idea. Thanks. Jesse. So um, yeah, so my son thought that was rather fantastic. He's not normally very impressed with my um, 
creations because they're normally a bit sort of pretty and floral but anyway he liked that and I needed to try it out so I made him this piece of wall art with it um, and again it went on like a dream like if you can see that finish no wrinkles or anything and that is just on a little art board from the dollar shop um, I just cut it to size did my um, decoupage glue worked it on gently used my tool and then um, I actually scuffed the sides with a little bit of sandpaper to just get the neat edges at the end and I put a little bit of paint around the edges and I did a little bit of metallic wax. Um, and that's pretty eye-catching, isn't it? And I mean, cool, cool for a, a boy's bedroom. Um, and I don't know if some of you saw Crystal Bradbury's wolf that she did on the weekend. Um, there are so many cool designs for these decoupage papers because some of them are figurative, some of them are floral, there's a whole heap of hot air balloons, um, really quite stunning, stunning pieces. Um, if you want to see any of the range at all, have a look at the link above the video. Um, jump on and have a look because there's the decoupage papers, there's the poster prints, um, there are the dry rub transfers, which are um, beautiful whole range of Australian wild birds, wildflowers, um, all sorts of cool and exciting things. Next week on my live I'm going to be demonstrating a peacock, a peacock transfer that I'm going to put on a piece of furniture um, and he is beautiful. I've been really getting excited about using him. Um, and there's, the, yeah, there's quite a few different things in the Aussie range which suit um, different tastes as well. It's not all kind of one taste, which I really like because there's things that can suit family members, kids. Um, you can give them as presents, a whole heap of different things. So jump on and have a look. Um, make sure you follow the Aussie Decor page when you get time. And for those of you who are crafty and creative and um, want to have a go at any of the projects, do post them um, in the in the group um, because, as I mentioned earlier, if you missed it, we've got a challenge going on where you can win $120 worth of cool free stuff. Um, so you've got to be in it to win it. And all of us brand ambassadors and content creators are going to vote at the end of the month. Um, and that's a that's a great option. Um, okay, so if there's anything else anyone needs, anyone got any questions, anyone, um, I might just show you the cabinet one more time. I'm gonna, if I have time, I will finish this off tonight with my sealant and I might uh, style it a little bit, take some pictures um, and finish off the heart. My cheap cheap little heart looks a bit posher now you'd love to see the peacock amber yeah great okay well if you're free um if it's not horrible horribly early for you jump on next week this is my regular time slot now 7 p.m um monday evening in sydney and um i've got a whole heaps of things lined up i've got the peacock and after that i've got um seven magnolias so i might even have to wear the same shirt again um, don't know what I'll wear for the peacock demo, but you know, maybe, maybe I'll find something. Um, so I really appreciate your watching. It's been really fun. And, um, if you have any questions, feel free to just post them. Um, or you could find me on my Facebook page, Sarah McCauley Studio. You can message me there. Um, anyone who's in Sydney wants to pop by the studio, have a cup of tea, do some craft, um, shoot me a message. All right, everyone, I'm going to sign off now and finish off my projects and then I'll post some pictures. Rani, I've been absolutely thrilled to see your name. Amber, great to meet you. Um, Jesse, so good to see you again. And um, Caroline, thank you for beaming in. And all of the rest of you, I really appreciate it. I will see you next week. Bye.